Hello and welcome back to into today's second uh, video doing the USA Excel forecast for today's second video. So as always on a Wednesday we have a look at the weather for the next six weeks with the ECM WF Excel model uh, for uh, North America and I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say about the first video saying what 6 a.m. upload and we'll be live streaming from uh, 6 p.m. this evening. We're going to have our Wednesday night live stream and uh, we'll live stream at 10 to 14 there. So if you're around the channel uh, I you see at 6 p.m. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. Right, let's start off with the uh, week one mean sale pressure anomaly for uh, America. This is from the 6th through to the 13th of February. So uh, we've got high pressure here out in the Pacific uh, West Coast, and that will bring the wind in from the northwest down this western side of America. So probably quite cold through there. And then it's actually probably rising northwards with this area of low pressure to the far door, and that will bring milder air through the central and eastern parts of the states. So 500 millibar height anomaly shows that big area of above average heights in the east of the northeast that's bound to be bringing up uh, a mild southerly flow. So the temperature anomaly for week one is colder than average in the west from the Pacific coast over towards the Rockies, otherwise milder than normal, significantly so. There's northern parts of America and up into Canada, very substantially above average, some places like 6 to 10 degrees uh, above normal. And to even in the sort of east southeast, significantly milder than average as well. So most places in America this week having above average temperature except in the far west and southwest. And precipitation looks like that. Generally dry in the west from the uh, Pacific coast towards the Rockies. There is a sway of wetter weather here through parts of the Midwest. Then it goes drier again in towards the east of the northeast. And we have some uh, heavy rain off the uh, eastern seaboard. Week 2 will be the 13th to the 20th of February. So uh, again, we have this area of high pressure. It's been an omnipresent feature through winter in the east and in the southeast. It will draw up mild air from the south up the eastern side of, of America. Again, out to the west and to the northwest, we'll be bringing in uh, colder air from, uh, you know, from, from uh, Canada down that western side of America. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Again, see the ridge over in the east. That's going to draw up those very mild temperatures still in, in the east part of America. Meanwhile, out west, this trough of low pressure should be bringing colder conditions. The temperature anomaly it shows a classic east-west split. The Rockies marking the dividing line. So to the west of the Rockies, generally colder than average from the Rockies back towards the Pacific coast. Meanwhile, areas east of the Rockies above average, and particularly so in this northeastern corner from the Great Lakes up towards the northeastern part of America, very significantly above average temperatures coming through uh, there once again, 6 to 10 degrees above normal, another really mild week on the way. And uh, precipitation-wise, it looks like that. So dry off the Pacific coast and dry off the Atlantic coast. Otherwise, in between, quite a bit of precipitation, especially through those uh, Midwestern states, which could have really quite uh, a wet week. And, of course, in elev elevated areas, there could be some snow. The temperatures are anomalous to average. So although it's mild, you know, it could still be cold enough for snow in some areas. However, other places will uh, have rain. Week 3 will be the 20th to the 27th of February. So, uh, higher pressure towards the far north and northwest of America. Lower pressure around the Great Lakes. So, some high pressure off the east coast um, once again. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week 3 looks like that. Still with that ridge off the east coast. It's going to draw up those mild temperatures from the south at the east side. This trough of low pressure, though, below average heights in the north, could be starting to bring something a little bit colder into some of these northern, western and north western parts of the state. So let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. So we do see it getting colder actually across the northwest uh, uh, northern states of America and the warmth looks like it's becoming more restricted actually east of the Great Lakes to be honest. So the warmth will begin to get shoved right way over towards the eastern seaboard with actually things looking colder across uh, central northern and western parts of America. Could this be the start of a cool down into the second half of February. Precipitation wise it also looks wetter 
over here in the east. This could be indicative of a trough of low pressure digging in from the north and from the northwest. Behind that, it would go colder. Of course, ahead of it, it will still be mild with winds in from the south. But behind those uh, southerly winds, winds could go into the north and the northwest. That could bring colder air through the midwest in particular. Meanwhile, out west, largely dry across the southern and uh, western parts of America once more. Week 4 will be the 27th of February to the 6th of March. That's how it looks. Quite a weak signal. Some high pressure in the uh, southwest and also in the extreme southeast. Otherwise, let's put in a question mark and we'll have a look at the 500 millibar height time. So that ridge re-establishes again in the southeast. Corner. Just as it looked like it might start to turn colder in the eastern part of America. No, the ridge comes back again in that southeastern corner of America. Sends the trough back northwards up to Canada and the milder of a cold air, I should say, will be retreating back north, I would have thought, with that uh, trough of low pressure. Temperature anomalies look relatively mild across the southern, eastern, southeast of states. Notice the cold is retreating back into Canada, although some of these northwestern areas do look, still look a little bit on the cold side through the west and through the northwest. But I think the, the mild air is gradually pushing back up again from the southwest in that uh, final uh, section of February and beginning of March. And week four precipitation is driving an average in the southwest, maybe a little bit on the wetter side over on the eastern side of America. Um, week five mean cell pressure anomaly will be the 6th to the 13th of March. A very weak signal, but some high pressure in the western states. Otherwise, not much going on. The um, uh, 500 millibar height anomaly with an area of above average heights off the west coast. Again, otherwise, there's not much happening. Uh, much of a signal. Temperature-wise, very weak signals. Let's put in two question marks. Very, very weak signal. Could be a little bit milder in the far northwest and southwest and off the eastern seaboard. But to be honest, that is a really weak signal that we have there for week five. And uh, precipitation-wise, um, once again, looks pretty dry, doesn't it, through these western states and possibly in the southeast corner. But it is a weak signal. And then lastly, week six will be the 13th to the 20th of March. That's how it looks. So maybe hints of some lower pressure in the southern and southeastern states. Higher pressure up towards Canada. Could that be signs of a pattern change? Let's have a look at 500 millibar height. So we do see some high pressure up in uh, Canada. Could that start to push out colder air uh, into uh, northern eastern parts of America? Very weak signals with precipitation. Looks relatively mild across the southern states. Um, otherwise, it's such a weak signal, it's hard to draw any conclusions, really. And uh, precipitation-wise, again, nothing really doing there from a precipitation perspective. So, uh, the Maya winter continues. It looks like we might get a slightly colder week there around the, uh, uh, around the third week of February. It doesn't look like it's going to last, though, uh, as the milder air comes back in uh, from the final days of February and into March. That ridge rebuilds in the southeastern corner. The coldest weather, so that's for, like, the Midwest and the East. The coldest weather, though, looks like it's actually going to be in the West, as it has been throughout most of the winter that carries on at least for the next couple of weeks there might be a bit of a hint of a significant change into uh march we might get a sudden stratospheric warming event if we do that could change the fundamental northern hemispheric pattern um you know and and we wait and see uh what the upshot of that is possibly it could bring something colder to those northern and eastern parts of america as we go into you know, the end of the winter. Right, that's it for your uh, USA forecast for this week. We'll do it all over again next week. If you've enjoyed this uh, video and found it useful and, and informative, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you drop a comment as well. And we'll be back with more for America uh, next Wednesday. We're going to be live streaming from 6pm, so I shall see you live for that one uh, with our 10 to 14 day. But for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.